Hello, my name is Mary Roddy and I want to share with you a great recipe for making a homemade phantom that you can use either for practicing or teaching freehand ultrasound guided biopsy. The great thing about this phantom is it's really cheap to make and you'll find most of the ingredients within your kitchen cupboard. This recipe is an adaptation of an original published by Rob and Katrina Gibson in Australasian Radiology back in 1995. I have made a couple of adaptations to make the phantom a little bit more robust and also to last for a little bit longer. Here's what you'll need to make the phantom. 150 grams of gelatin powder. I tend to buy this in kilogram bags online but you can also get it in smaller sachets at supermarkets. You need 300 grams of corn flour, some water, a few drops of red food colouring, 30 mils of household disinfectant and some pimento stuffed olives which make the best targets for biopsy practice. So get out a large pan and dissolve 150 grams of gelatin powder in 450 mils of recently boiled water. You can use a gentle heat if you need, but make sure the mixture doesn't boil as this may destroy the setting effect of the gelatin. Then add 900 mils of cold water and mix well, making sure that the gelatin is completely dissolved. Now, leaving the pan to one side, get out a large mixing bowl and add some of the gelatin mixture to 300 grams of corn flour and mix well into a smooth paste. Add the corn flour paste back into the pan and mix well into the gelatin mixture. At this point, you need to add 30 ml of household disinfectant, any type will do, uh, this prolongs the life of the phantom and then add a few drops of red food colouring as this will make the phantom more flesh coloured. Then pour the mixture into a well-oiled 2 litre plastic container and place in the refrigerator. Check it every 15 minutes until the mixture begins to set. This usually happens at about an hour. When you feel the mixture is beginning to set Remove the box from the refrigerator and make several slits in the surface with a sharp knife and through these you can insert several stuffed olives at different places into the phantom. You then put the phantom back into the refrigerator and leave it until completely set which will take a few hours. When the phantom is set, remove it from the refrigerator you may be able to see some subtle indentations on the surface where the olives have been inserted, but this isn't important because when you're using the phantom, that will form the base and will not be visible to the operator. To use the phantom for ultrasound guided biopsy practice, tip it out of the container onto a small metal trolley or other firm surface. After you've finished using the phantom, make sure it's wiped with a damp cloth and then replace it in the container with a sealed lid. If you look after it, it will last for many weeks or even months if stored in the refrigerator. So here's an example of one of the phantoms being used for biopsy practice. The corn flour and gelatin mixture mimics the texture of liver and the olives show up as very nice target lesions. You'll find that any tracks that appear during the practice session tend to disappear when the phantom is left back in the fridge to recover. It's also nice to be able to practice core biopsies as this is a relatively cheap phantom uh, and this is not an option that's available on some of the more expensive commercial phantoms. And you can assess the quality of the core biopsies by looking for the little green olive cores. Here's an example of some good biopsies taken by one of our keen trainees. So, in summary, I've shown you how to make a very cheap phantom out of kitchen ingredients. 
it's easy to make and it's long lasting and it's a great way of practicing ultrasound guided biopsy or teaching it to trainees. I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much for your attention.